Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. My name's Nisha and welcome to the Dance On At Home sessions. I'm going to be working on a little routine with you today. It's a belly dance inspired routine which also uses a veil. We're going to go through a combination that's seated, we're going to do a combination which is standing up and then I'm going to show you a few little exercises and tips that will allow you to create your own veil dance as well. Okay, so we're going to start with the seated version. So I'm going to show you a combination with only four moves. Remember throughout this video that you can pause, you can also rewind as well if you need to hear anything back or if something comes up and you just need to pause it for a while. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so sitting down in your seat, making sure that you can rest a little bit on the back as well. So taking a veil, it doesn't have to be a veil, it could be anything. You could grab a towel if you want to as well. Okay, so with your material, your veil or your towel, um, holding it so your arms aren't too far apart and they're not too close either. So just a little bit further, further apart. So the first move that we're going to start with is just swaying to the side. So the arms are going to stay nice and low, so about in line with your knees. And we start by just swaying it from side to side. And at this point, it doesn't matter which direction you go in first. So this will be called our sway. So swaying it from side to side. Once you feel comfortable, if you feel comfortable with this move, you can always add a little bit more twist with the body. So rather than it just going to the side, you can think about twisting the upper body a little bit more. So it's coming more to your side and the other side as well. So now we're using... We're using our core a little bit more with this one. We're using our sides a little bit more as well. So just take it to where it feels comfortable. Lovely, so that's our sway. So our second move. Our second move brings the arms a little bit higher. And this time we're thinking about a figure eight. It's gonna be knocked over on its side. So the circles are this way this time. So keeping the veil here, we're going to draw the circle on the right hand side first. So with all the things that I show you, I'll be mirroring. So we're going to your right side first, then we'll be going to your left side. So if you just draw that first with your right hand and then over with the left hand. Excellent. So add the veil in as well. So we're thinking about creating a circle on the right side, bringing it back in and then over to the left. So allow the other arm to follow. Excellent. So once you get used to that movement, you can keep it nice and low. If you feel quite comfortable with that move, you can make it a little bit bigger and add a little bit of a flick with the hand so it really picks up the veil. Excellent. And again, if you're comfortable with that and you want to add a little bit more movement with the body, have the feet just slightly a little bit further apart so it will help with your balance. Now really think about using your upper body to sway from side to side on this one. So as well as creating the circle with your hand, you're adding a bit of movement with the body. So we're stretching, stretching the sides here so we can stretch a little bit further out. But make sure your feet are planted on the floor to help you with your balance. So we're going over to the right, over to the left, over to the right, over to the left, over to the right, over to the left. Excellent, so that's move two, so that's our figure eight. Move three, so this one's a little bit more tricky, but I'm sure you'll cope with this one. So we're going to create a wing, so this one's a wing, so we're bringing the left hand towards your right, sh towards your right shoulder, the, left, the right hand stays down, it comes in front and then we sway it out to the side and it's made a wing shape behind your right arm. So to unwind that just bring both arms in front and then we're going to do the same the other side. So this time we're bringing your right hand towards your shoulder keeping the left hand down, we push it through and then we create the wing on our left side and then drop both arms down um, to bring it in front again. So again, if we try that again, so we're doing your left hand towards your right shoulder, bring the hand down, let it come through and then open up so we make our wing, then unwind both of the arms in front. And then this time we're taking your right hand towards the shoulder, the left arm's down, Bring it through and open up to make your wing. Excellent. We're going to try that just a little bit faster. So we're going to go right side first. So hand comes over, right hand comes underneath and then out, 
unwind the arms and then we do the same the other side. So this time right hand comes in, left arm comes out. Excellent. Okay, so with this move, if you're feeling quite comfortable, try and pick up the pace so it becomes one continuous move. Lovely. So this one really works the arms and the shoulders a little bit more. Lovely. Add the head in as well. So let's look over to the side as we do this one. Excellent. Okay, so that is move three and that's our wing. Okay, so the last move in this combination is around the world. So this one is taking your arms above your head. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can create circles just by swapping the arms, yeah, like the wing shape, keeping it nice and low, yeah. So around the world, the arms will be going over the head. So we start with the we start with this in front. Again, you're going to take your right hand. It's going to come in front of your face, go behind. So the veil ends up behind. Then your left hand is coming from behind your head to end up with the veil in front. And again. So the right hand, we come through our, our, uh, through our face, so the arm's going behind, so that veil ends up behind. And then your left arm comes from behind, so the veil ends up in front. Excellent. We try and keep that going in one continuous movement. So right hand going back, left hand coming forward. Right hand going back, left hand coming forward. Right hand going back, left hand coming forward. Excellent. And that's move four. So let's do a quick recap of those moves. So again, sitting really comfortably onto your seat. Make sure your feet are planted on the floor or just the balls of your feet. Try and keep your rib cage lifted, keep the shoulders back, which will allow you to just breathe a little bit more, open up your lungs. Excellent, okay, so we're starting with, so the first move that we're starting with is just the sway nice and slow. So nice and low with this one. So we're going over to our right, over to our left. Over to our right, over to our left, over to our right, over to the left, over to the right, over to the left. Move two. So this one was our figure eight. So starting with the right hand again. So we're going right and left and right. And again, remember, just take it to where it feels comfortable. If we feel we can go a little bit further out, have the feet slightly further apart and use your upper body with this one. So we're reaching just a little bit further. Excellent. Move three was our wing. So making our wing to the right side first. So your left hand's going to come in, your right arm pushes forward and comes out to the side. We come back to the center. And then this time the left hand comes in, sorry, right hand comes in, left hand comes forward, and then we come out to the side. So again, try to make it a continuous move from your right side over to the left side. Excellent. And then your fourth move was around the world. So we're taking our right hand over the head and then bringing the left hand over. And again, so we'll do that again. So we're going from your right hand going over the head and then the left hand coming from behind. Right hand going over the head, left arm coming from behind. Oops. And we try and make that just a little bit faster if we can. Excellent. So have a go at practicing those and then we'll have a go to music. Okay, starting with it low. Keeping the 
arms nice and strong this way. Lovely, back to move one. A little bit more twist if you can. Figure it. one again. You might even want to pick a different type of music to do those, uh, to do those moves as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you the, uh, the combination that's going to be standing as well. I'm not going to break down the moves of the veil uh, again, um, but you can always recap it by rewinding the video and having a look at that first combination. Okay, so this time, as well as doing it standing, we're going to add, in some places, we're going to add some belly dance moves in there as well. Okay, so the first one we did was a sway, so I'm going to show you this way around. So with this sway, yeah, just think about making sure that you're standing where you feel you've got your balance. So you might feel that your feet need to be a bit closer together, they might need to be a little bit further apart, but you want to feel that your weight, you can feel it onto the balls of your feet and your heels as well. Yeah? So it's really important with this one because we are turning, yeah, that you've got your balance just exactly where you want it. Okay, so not much variation with this one. We're going to keep it nice and low, so the arms are nice and low. So the best way to think about the arms moving in this one is as if they're moving in water. So just imagine that you're in the sea and you're pushing the water from side to side with this one and the veil will follow. Excellent, so we're going to keep this one nice and low. So in the same way we did the figure eight, we're going to get the feet just a little bit, a little bit further apart for this one and think about creating that same figure eight. So going back to the sway, so a variation with the sway is adding your hips going from side to side. So the feet need to stay quite close together for this one, so not too far apart. And when we sway the hips from side to side, imagine that there's a piece of string pulling the hip over to the side. So the legs are staying quite straight, they're not dead straight, it's like somebody's just pushed at the back of your knees just to soften those legs just a little bit. And then we're being pulled. So imagine somebody's just grabbed your trousers at the side or your skirt and, it, and they're pulling the hip out to the side. And then we do the same on the other side. And what we try and do with this one is make sure that the upper body doesn't move. Yeah. So it might start off as a little small move, but the more you practice, the more flexibility you'll get and the more the hips will move. So with the, with the sway, we can try and add the hips moving from side to side as well, just to where they feel comfortable. So don't overstretch and don't over move the hips too much. Love it, just to where it feels comfortable. Okay, try not moves to use it this time. Start up nice and slow. So just sway to the side of this one. Excellent. Try not the hips in this time. 
times and slide through the hips. Wing to the left. Drop the hip. And again, other side. 